Hi, this is Hendrik from Orchestral Tools and this is Berlin Strings version 2. We worked over a year to heave the Berlin series to a whole new level with Capsule. For that we uh, created a new framework within Contact which is built from scratch to unveil all the potential that relies on our wonderfully captured samples and to just make it more easy and fast to work with it. We made several more videos that focus on Capsule, uh, what you can do with it and how it works. But to explain all its features in this video would simply take too long and Capsule is not the only thing we will update with the new Berlin Strings version. We did also a few a whole new sample recordings and articulations. So it's worth to watch the other videos as well. But um, to give you a short description on Capsule, um, we made some inventions which are just amazing. With Capsule you are now able to apply true legato intervals to any long notes of your choice. So you just activate legato on trills, on tremolos, on portatos or whatever. We have multi-articulation patches with uh, free assignable key switches and we went one step further with, an, with the new polyphonic key switching. So you don't have to pre-build articulation maps. You do all that flexible and fast in real time. But uh, you also can go very deep to customize everything to your personal needs, to define custom round robin rules, for example, to manage the dynamic layers or to add our new Niente feature. You can do a lot of stuff if you want, but um, you can also just load a patch to play with it. We really try to keep things simple and if you see the true eye here, everything looks clean and easy, but the power behind it is amazing. So more about that in the dedicated capsule screencasts where Stan, which is our scripting developer, will guide you through all the functions. And beside capsule, we also decided to capture another kind of spiccato samples. Just because it is always good to have another option for one of the most used articulations. I mean, spiccato is really a standard articulation uh, in film music and now you are able to choose between the spiccatos from the initial release, which was recorded specifically for fast repetition stuff with a lot of round robins going on. And I would really say that they are the tightest ones I've ever played with. And between the new exposed spiccatos with the idea in mind to have some more bite on it with a more exposed attack and noise at the beginning. So here are the new ones. I really like their power and airiness. We did a whole set of them for all the sections by the way, so you have them for first violin, second violin, violas, celli and basses. there is the new fingered legato for the first violins. After I used Berlin strings a lot over the past year, I had a need for a more subtle and defined version of the legato transitions of the first violins. Now that's why we decided to record a fingered legato, which was not easy by the way, because we were in the need to record the same musicians at the same place, in the same situation, with exactly the same mic microphone setup. But I think it's really worth to do these kind of things for a piece of software or tool that I use on a daily basis.
With the new update for Berlin strings, we also fixed minor artifacts on samples and rebalanced everything. We don't normalize samples, but we rechecked all volumes on the articulation basis. That means a violin staccato is now relatively and naturally louder than a pizzicato. And they all have their natural volume ranges now. Also, all instruments over the whole Berlin series are naturally balanced to each other. All patches are well programmed with instantly usable settings. And you, as a Berlin Strings customer, will get uh, the free download link via email. So, thanks for watching the video and bye bye.